Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we're going to be changing the oil and filters in the Kubota RTV X1140 side by side. The materials we're going to need are Kubota OEM filters, and this is the engine filter. It's an HH150 32094. There are two hydraulic filters HH3A0. 82623 is the larger one. HHK70-14073 is the smaller one. The hydraulic filters, the smaller one's the yellow one. It's the same as on the Kubota now, but for some reason the OEM have black filters for the engine and the larger hydraulic transmission filter. But uh, the OEMs that they gave me that are specifically made for this vehicle are both white. The oil we're going to be using is a Shell Rotella T6 full synthetic 15W40. Since we are taking off the hydraulic filters, we are going to need to top off the hydraulic fluid system, and I'm just going to use my tractor's transmission fluid. Now, if I go to change the hydraulic fluid in this machine, I'm going to use Kubota's OEM fluid. First thing we're going to do is change out the hydraulic filters, because after we do that, we're going to convert the RTV over to a two-seater, tilt the bed up, and that'll give us access to the uh, oil filter and oil addition. To get better access to the hydraulic filters, we're going to take this back plate off. Now, you can use a 12 meter, 12 millimeter socket and a uh, driver or a ratchet wrench. Just take these off. Now you can see you can get to your filters. This is the uh, yellow one and the black one. Of course, we have a, a new big white one. Before you break into any of these systems, you want to make sure you clean everything off real well. Of course, I washed the Kubota, but you know, there's mud in every orifice if you're using this thing out on the farm. So just get, get all the, sur the seating surfaces really clean because you do not want any uh, dirt or debris in your hydraulic system. Once you've got your seating surfaces all cleaned off, you're going to need two different size filter wrenches. The smaller one, Take the smaller wrench, the larger one, take the larger wrench. Make sure you have a drain pan below your filters. I'm going to start with the, um, the smaller one, right over the end here through the opening. Again, I'm just going to get it on there, and it's lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, just like you're used to. Make sure you have your new filter ready, standing by. Again, we're losing some fluid, but I'll top that off. Okay, make sure your O-ring comes off. Make sure everything's clean on the inside surface there. I'm gonna clean that seating surface off. I do not want anything in my hydraulic system. Clean it off real well. Okay, get your new filter. Clean that off. Now I wanna get a little bit of this dripping I'm going to put it right on that seating surface there. That way it ensures it goes, gets on there real smooth and I can get it nice and tight. Again, the seating surface is clean. Right in here. We're going to make sure that is hand tight. Now we're going to get our large hydraulic filter off. Again, that's lefty loosey. Get that right over the back of it. Easiest to get it from down below on this one. And then you just turn, 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 turn. Once you get it loosened up, you should be able to crank it off. Again, we're losing the hydraulic fluid, but we're going to top that back off. That's all right. Okay, come down from below. And again, you want to make sure that filter or that gasket O ring comes off with your new filter. All right, we have our new one. Now let's get a little bit of the fluid. I'm going to seat the uh, mating surfaces. And let's uh, clean off the mating surface here. We don't want any dirt in our hydraulic system. All right, once we got that cleaned up, Get the new filter on. If y'all can see that, just turn it. 
Should go on nice and smooth. There we are. All right, now let's get it on there hand tight. Make sure they're both nice and tight. And these filters are changed out. We'll clean this up. Now we're going to convert our four-seater into a two-seater so we can have access to the oil filter and oil. It's a very simple process. And that's it for converting it to a two-seater from a four-seater. Now we're going to lift the dump bed to get access to the oil and oil filter. Now we're going to start it and lift the bed. Simple as that. Once we have the bed up, to work under it safely, we want to remove the locking device. So you just pull this off and you set it right here, and that will keep the bed from coming down if there's a hydraulic failure. So now we're gonna remove this tray here to get access to the top of the engine. And we're gonna take off the battery cover. Let's pull this little protective cover off. That way you can see down here is where the oil filter is. Just above the battery compartment, if we look inside, past the blue tag there, past the white tag, just below that white tag is the engine oil filter. Now we can get into it from this angle or we can get in from behind the battery and below. We're going to take the bottom skid plate off right now to get access to the oil pan. All right, we have this bottom skid plate here. This is the rear skid plate just before the rear axle. We're going to take this one off. Again, it's a 12 millimeter socket, and I believe there are five bolts that hold it in, and that's going to give us access to the drain pan. Now, there's a little trick to it, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. We've got the bottom skid plate off, and you can see the drain pan bolt right there. It's a 14 millimeter. Now, a trick here, if you don't take the front skid plate off, oil is going to shoot up all under that front skid plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of paper, uh, a cardboard in front of that so all the oil shoots down towards our drain pan. So what I do is I put a piece of cardboard in front of the drain bolt, in front of the drain pan. You can see it goes down into my catch pan and that's going to keep all the oil from shooting up under the front skid plate. Again, that's a 14 millimeter drain bolt. So let's go ahead and take that out, drain this oil out. Now I've gotten the engine up to operating temperature and you wanna do that before doing your oil change. All right, it's a 14 millimeter again and I'll loosen that up. There we go, the oil comes out, goes straight down into our catch pan. Easy peasy. To ease the oil coming out, we're going to take open the oil inlet plug, and that will allow the air to just quickly drain out all the oil. Again, we want to make sure we clean this off so none of that dirt gets inside the engine. There we go, nice and clean. Our oil has stopped draining, and I put the plug back in and tightened it down. And now we're going to take off the oil filter. Of course, I showed you a second ago the oil filter's right in there. I already have the filter wrench around it, and I'm just going to reach in here, and I have one hand to the left of the battery, one hand to the right, and I just loosen the filter, 
not that bad. And then once I get it loose, I can just take it off by hand. There we go. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I loosen it up by hand and then I pull it out. Here we go. And again, just like with the other filters, you want to make sure that the gasket O-ring is still on there. It is. So now I have my new filter. Open this up. All right. I'm going to get a little oil from inside here. Lubricate the O-ring. The there we go. And I'm going to wipe down the mating surface to make sure everything's clean. Again, you don't want any dirt in your engine. All right, so I got all that clean. This is a very tight spot. It's hard for me to get the camera in there to show you that, so that's why I'm just doing it from this angle. But I just get this in here. Up over. I'm just going to go hand tight. And we are done. Before we get into filling our fluids back up, we need to button everything back up. So let's get our battery cover back on. That's just two simple bolts that hold that on. These wing nuts here, basically. Now that we got this on, we need to put the bottom skid plate on. I'm going to do that real quick. Now it's time to fill up our oil. And again, we're going to use the Shell Rotella T6 full synthetic 15W40. And this thing holds four quarts in the engine. 4.3 if you're changing the oil filter, which of course we are. So it's going to be 4.3 quarts. And uh, it's just over a gallon. So I've got a couple uh, gallons of these. And we're going to fill this up. Get my case in or my funnel in there so we're going to do four full quarts here while we're waiting for the oil to drain into our crankcase we're going to check the transmission fluid you can see it in the orange dipstick right there All right, so we pull it out and it is let's clean it off see how much we have in there we know we should be a little bit low from pulling the filter off that's uh, looks like it's right on the money. Right on the money. Yeah, I'm not even gonna put it in that. To check the hydraulic fluid, we have to remove the storage tray under the front seats. Raise the driver's seat. Raise the passenger seat. Pull the tray out. Once we have the tray off, you can see this cover here, and here's where our hydraulic tank is. Open this up, make sure we clean around it so you don't get any kind of foreign material in there. All right, we're going to top off our hydraulic tank here. Shouldn't need very much with that filter. Alrighty. Get that cleaned up. Get our dipstick in. See how close we are. And we are right on the money. Yep, all right. So we are good on hydraulic fluid. We're going to start the engine now, let the oil circulate through and fill the oil filter up. And then we'll have to add our last 0.3 quarts of oil. Engine oil dipstick is right here. It's orange or red colored. I'm going to pull the dipstick out. Check the fluid. Looks like it's really close. 
stick it back in after cleaning it off and pull it out and uh, yeah we are just maybe 0.3 quarts shy of being full so let's go ahead and add that last little bit add our last little bit of engine oil about 0.3 quarts check our oil level one last time clean off the dipstick put it back in pull it out right on the money perfect we're going to button everything back up, make sure all, all the covers are on and fastened, and then we'll take her for a spin. Put the cover back on, goes down the little holes, get our seat belts put back down through there, take our safety cage cover off, get this put back on there. There we go. Now let's lower the bed. We're going to start it up, raise and lower the bed a few times to uh, fill all the voids. Hydraulics are working good. That's how we change the oil on Kubota's RTV X1140 side by side. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, everyone have a blessed day and go Ridge Life.